Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. Good thing you guys tuned in today because we have the biggest week of earnings in the whole earnings season coming up this week. For example, we have Amazon reporting, Apple, Intel, Coinbase, DraftKings, Roku, Block or Square, Snapchat, Moderna, Crocs, and that's just all in one day. Don't forget Toyota, that's Thursday. Big, big day. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's start off the video and talk about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, go throughout the week. We're going to go over some of my favorite stocks to be looking at and watching this week. And in the last video, we did a deep dive into Tesla. So this week, we're going to do it a little bit different and try to talk about as many different stocks as we can. So we probably won't be going too deep into different stocks. But nonetheless, this video is going to be extremely exciting. So make sure you make it all the way to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any hidden gems or different stocks that are lesser known and less talked about. So with that being said, just smash a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe on YouTube if you're not already. Share this video with a friend and and let's dive right into it. So starting off Monday hot, we have McDonald's reporting. Now it's too late to trade the stock because as soon as the market opens, they're going to already, the numbers are going to be out. Now moving on to Tuesday where it starts picking up and getting a little bit more exciting. Before the open, we have SoFi. It's a little bit of a smaller company. Banking company could be very interesting um, and could have a big movement. We have PayPal, which has been down, down, down in the last couple of years. So we really want to see their financials starting to pick up and showing some positive results from PayPal. So that'll be a good stock to watch too. Pfizer, BP, uh, Procter & Gamble, PG, and JetBlue. Okay, so those are good stocks. BP is a, a really good one to be watching because oil is always big, every earnings. Um, and it's pretty easy to predict oil to which way it's going to be going. So BP could be a little bit of an easier one to predict. Uh, moving on to the Tuesday after the close, we have AMD. We have Microsoft on the same day reporting. Pinterest, Starbucks, Caesars, Lemonade. Lemonade is a smaller company, an insurance company. It's been very volatile. So that one could definitely be moving. Caesars is a hotel chain. So it'll be interesting to see how vacationing and hotels are doing. And this is the quarter that really profits off of travel and vacationing uh, is because you had the spring break, spring, and now you have summer going on also. So Wednesday before the open, we have Boeing, Norwegian, Wingstop, Kraft. Kraft's always an interesting stock. Um, and Wednesday before the opening, we have Boeing reporting. Now, that stock has been super volatile over the last years. Lots of controversy going on with Boeing. So it'll be interesting to see if their financials could kind of pick it up. It's not hopeful looking going into Boeing earnings. Uh, but moving on to Norwegian, another travel and vacation company. Um, cruise lines, obviously, could be a beneficiar off of travel. Wingstop, Kraft Haynes, Kraft's a dividend stock, obviously a food stock as well. And then MasterCard reporting Wednesday before the open. After the close Wednesday, we have Meta Platforms, extremely interesting to watch their earnings. Qualcomm, another extremely uh, scrutinized earnings. Qualcomm is an interesting one. If you don't know too much about their company, I highly recommend checking them out and marking them down. They are a hidden AI company. They're sort of kind of they're kind of like AMD. That's why they're reporting pretty close. AMD is reporting Tuesday. Um, Qualcomm's reporting Wednesday. And I shouldn't even say they're a hidden gem because they're such a large company and everyone really does know Qualcomm at this point. But they're a little bit lesser known than something like Nvidia or AMD, for example. So moving on to Carvana. Um, and that's basically it for Wednesday after the close. But Thursday, it picks up again because before the open, we have Moderna. We have Crocs, Wayfair, Toyota. So a little bit of everything, you know, a little bit of medicine, apparel, e-commerce with Wayfair and uh, automotive with Toyota. So moving to Thursday after the close, we have Amazon, Apple, Intel, Coinbase, DraftKings, Roku, Block. Uh, Marathon or Mara, 
ticker symbol M-A-R-A. Everyone knows them. Everyone loves them. They have to do with blockchain. And then also Snapchat INC, which is always one of the most volatile earnings that is to be reported during earnings season, with Snapchat going as up as much as 30% or down 30% on earnings news. So Thursday, without a doubt, is, is going to be the biggest day of this earnings season with Apple, Amazon reporting on the same day and then followed up by some other heavy hitters. Now, moving on to Friday, we have more oil reporting. So getting a little bit of an indicator uh, Tuesday before the open from BP and kind of following that news onto what's going to be happening with Exxon and Chevron could be a good way to play it, especially if you dive extremely deep into BP and you also have um, history in trading oil during earnings times too. That could be a profitable trade right there. And if you don't do it, know how to do it yourself, message me on Instagram. I have a private trading group where I show all my trades uh, before earnings, during earnings. We do option trades every single day and every single week. The Daily Stock Market is my official Instagram. 234,000 followers, 964 posts. Um, so message me here. I respond to every single DM, so I'll be more than happy to help you out. Click on Success 2020 for also and read through some of the positive testimonials that's been going on and some of the success and people have found in our trading group our private uh, trading group our stock market family okay so first up let's talk about SoFi they're under ten dollars per share so they're an exciting stock and everyone loves when I do my ten dollar per share or under video best stocks under ten dollars per share SoFi usually always does make the list uh, spoiler alert <laughs> So we could actually see they were as low as $7.05 July 25th, not even that long ago, last week. And they're on a little bit of a rebound since then, up 5%. But in the last month, they are also extending their rebound up 15%. They were as low as $6.30 per share. Because remember, year to date, they are down 23% with a 52-week low at $6.30 per share. And in the last five years, well, everyone remembers if you've been trading at least from since 2020, the IPO was so fi and an extreme rise up, um, going up around 110% in a very short amount of time. They listed at $11 per share and never really made it back to those prices after that big sell off in 2022 2021 so here's what to expect on sofi is it set to announce on july 30th analysts are anticipating that sofi will report a profit great to see great to hear analysts are expecting earnings to come in at around one cents against a loss of six cents just a year ago quarter meanwhile analysts expect revenue to be around 564 million reflecting a year over year decline of 16.6 percent interestingly sofi has encouraged earnings su surprise history the company exceeded earnings estimates in the 10 out of the previous 12 quarters so that's you know a good thing to know that in the last 12 quarters they actually beat the earnings estimates 10 times out of the last 12 quarters Okay, now we are going rapid fire because I remember I want to talk about as many different stocks as possible in this video. So let's move on to the next few stocks. Remember, reporting this week, we have huge names like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Meta Platforms, Microsoft also reporting Tuesday. Um, we'll get four opportunities for a rebound for tech because remember last week we had Google reporting and it wasn't so hot. And again, just a recap, Microsoft reports Tuesday, Meta reports Wednesday, Apple and Amazon report on Thursday. With more questions about costs, returns, and current quality of AI technology, the analyst says. Um, Apple, a more stable AI play for volatile times. They said iPhone sales had likely ticked higher during this quarter and said AI features could help more people buy new ones as they get ready to replace their older phones okay so that's a good bullish thing that they could be talking about and harping on on their earnings call uh, for apple results from microsoft will provide some sense of the competitive landscape within cloud computing one of its main growth drivers for microsoft as it fights with amazon and google 
and others for businesses IT infrastructure needs a manager who have a growing array of office communications platforms to choose from and as it invests billions into open AI chat GBT um, analyst was also focused on um, among other things the opportunities for Microsoft surrounding AI in data centers and in github the developer platform bought in 2018 metal will report after concerns over its own AI spending, okay, so that could be a bearish thing. They're spending too much on AI, but it could potentially be a bullish thing if they have something to report from all of those spendings, a big breakthrough or something exciting um, that has to do with the AI and that came across because we spent this money, this happened. A Bank of America analyst also raised concern about slower advertised spending in Asia for meta platforms and noted a report from the information saying that the company wanted to cut spending on virtual reality and the metaverse. Even though a cut on spending isn't a bad thing because uh, meta spends so much as in, a little bit of a pullback isn't the worst thing in the world. Amazon earnings also will offer um, a look at what we mentioned above, but it'll also dive into what the con a look into the consumer. The call to put on your calendar, Amazon.com, INC. If you're going to pick up a call this week, why not go with one that can offer a look inside and outside of a big tech? Okay, among the tech behemoths reporting, Amazon's vast e-commerce network can offer detail on the state of online spending for both consumers and businesses, while its other segments provide windows into AI and cloud computing and entertainment. The results will follow what the company said was a record sale for Prime Day. And as it moves further into TV shows and live sports, the NBA last week announced a new agreement with Amazon.com that will make the company among those to broadcast games starting with the 2025-2026 season. Amazon's ad business, which allows brands to advertise within the e-commerce giant's online ecosystem, is also growing. Expectations will be elevated, giving Amazon strong Q1 momentum and the latest upbeat results from Prime Day and its bid to secure NBA streaming rights. Okay, and the analyst says um, the core e-commerce business maintains its value to both consumers and brands, which in turn supports strong growth for Amazon ads. Let's move into more numbers to watch. McDonald's and Starbucks sales, other restaurants in April, coffee chain Starbucks Corp warned of deeper consumer caution and rivals in China who were undercutting them on price. McDonald's Corp said that diners are even more discriminating with their spending. The reason in part has been the usual prime suspects, higher prices, particularly for others, more ne necessary things, as well as pricier menu items at restaurants, which have raised concerns about demand for dining out overall. Now, as the fast food industry plunges into a discount war to hold on to customers, both chains will offer an update on the state of consumer and impact of the value deal frenzy, which could weigh on the profits and sales. McDonald's reports Monday, Starbucks reports on Tuesday. Last week, quarter results from Chipotle Mexican Grill offered some insights of hope from the industry. Sales jumped. Efforts to churn out burritos more quickly are working and management said it has worked on retraining some restaurants that might have been going light on portion sizes. But an analyst noted that unlike McDonald's, Chipotle is a fast casual chain, which could keep it clear of the price cutting fray as diners seek a break for more expensive casual dining. Examples being the Olive Garden and Applebee's which also seeking higher quality. So yes, a lot is going on this week. So make sure you are subscribed and following on Instagram. Also the daily stock market. So you are in the news with all things stocks going on at all times. My story on Instagram, I update every single day on the most important news articles to be following. Um, I'm also putting out another video later on this week 
on earnings on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe on YouTube talking about Apple and Amazon earnings and diving deeper into those specific earnings. So if you want to hear about Apple and Amazon predictions along with meta platforms and some others, make sure you're subscribed and you get the alert for the next video coming out. Thank you guys so much for making it to the very end of the video. And if you haven't dropped a like and you learned something new on this video, just hit a, a little thumbs up on this video. It goes a long way for a small creator like me. Thank you guys for taking time out to watch this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.